Hi, I'm Brad Moon for Best Buy Canada's blog. Today I'm looking at Seagate's Mighty Fire Cuda Gaming Dock. The blog's Dave Neufeld already reviewed this beast from a PC gaming perspective, and you should definitely check that out. I'm looking at it from the perspective of a non-gaming PC user. It's a 4TB multi-port hub with optional M2 NVMe storage and customizable LED lighting, something that an average PC laptop user might need. Out of the box, the power brick alone is bigger than some 4TB drives in my collection. Fortunately, you won't need all these cables. One is for North American power outlets, and there's also a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 cable. Those are the two that you care about. This is a large and solidly built device. It's minimalist with some nice style elements and plenty of room for airflow. It's raised on silicone feet to improve cooling and cut vibration. Here's the business side of the Fire Cuda gaming dock and what makes it an actual dock, which is in high demand by laptop users. There's a single USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port to connect to your laptop or PC. From there you get a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, one display port, three USB 3.1 ports, and an Ethernet port. On the other side are front-facing USB and audio ports for easy access by the user. This end cap pops off and it hides an expandable M2 NVMe SSD slot. So this gaming dock covers off extra ports, 4 terabytes of mass storage, and the option of ultra-fast M2 NVMe SSD storage as well. That's all good and great functionality, but when you plug the dock in and fire it up, you get the LED light show as well. I have it connected to a Chromebook here which can recognize the 4 terabytes of storage, but the Seagate software that lets you customize the LED lighting is Windows or Mac only. That's okay though, the default is pretty cool. With current laptops often shipping with minimal ports and super slim form factors, the Fire Cuda Gaming Dock's ports and storage would come in handy. However, there's no getting around the fact that this is a pretty large peripheral. It's going to take up a good chunk of your desk space. And typical users, including those who don't need the speed of M2 NVMe SSD external storage, would probably be better off with a more compact external drive. However, power users who need the additional ports may decide the combination is pretty alluring. There are catches though. For example, I can connect the dock to this older laptop with a USB-A to USB-C cable, but that USB-A port is the choke point. There's not enough data throughput to drive a monitor, and a high-speed SSD would be wasted. So is the Seagate Fire Cuda gaming dock a good option for the average computer user? It's probably overkill for most laptops, but for creative professionals with a modern laptop that can make full use of its capabilities, this might be a nice multi-purpose desktop addition. And with that LED light show, it looks pretty cool too. Check out the Seagate Fire Cuda gaming dock, along with a huge selection of external drives and SSDs at Best Buy. To learn more about the Seagate Fire Cuda gaming dock, be sure to read my full review and Dave Neufeld's review from the PC gaming perspective on Best Buy Canada's blog.